Hello and welcome here. The long-running The CW series The Flash has recently released many episodes that are jam-packed with unexpected surprises. Before Tom Cavanagh's Thawne actually emerged from Matt Lesher's portrayal of the character last week, viewers were treated to an unexpected conclusion to a plotline begun in Arrow's series finale in The Man in the Yellow Tie. Fans have long anticipated that John Diggle would eventually defeat the enigmatic glowing green item and turn into a green lantern. Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, now reveals why the program decided to tie up that particular plot, and it turns out that the reason has to do with timing. Wallace said in an interview with that the season finale screenplay and that episode were both written at a time when the show hadn't yet been renewed for season 9. In light of the likelihood that the program might end, the series decided it was crucial to provide that resolution as well. He said, we were thinking, oh my goodness, we have to do this because maybe no one will get a chance to. I talked to David myself and told him, I'd like to give this some closure, and he was all in favor of it. And when I told him what we had planned, he thought it sounded fantastic. Fans will recall that during the Arrow series finale, Diggle discovered the glowing box, and ever since, the character has made cameos all around the Arrowverse to cope with the consequences of that discovery. The Flash episode finally gave Diggle a peek of his cosmic destiny, but he also saw him reject it since none of the opportunities it presented for him to fulfill it brought him back to his family. It vanished once Diggle completely and firmly rejected the box and that fate, allowing him to return home and spend time with the people he loves the most. Wallace added, though, that the opportunity allowed him to prepare some further seeds for a Blackest Night tale, should one ever be able to take shape. Wallace further said that I'm a comic book nerd and I wanted to plant some Blackest Night seeds, and that Diggle moment helped me to do that. But I don't know if we'll ever get to it. Wallace previously expressed his desire to create a version of the legendary DC Comics event from 2009 to 2010. He said, who says that story is over? All I can say to you is there are many more Flash and Arrowverse stories to be told. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I actually wrote a Blackest Night story. I wrote Power of Shazam 48. That's where the Black Lantern Osiris comes back and all that good stuff. There's a reason I'm talking about Blackest Night. I'm trying to will it into existence. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to, because that would require a full-on crossover and many more millions of dollars than our show has. However, you got to start somewhere. And remember, I'm a fan first. I love Blackest Night so, to me hopefully I've opened a door that eventually we'll get to walk through. I know we have a ninth season and there's kind of a plan in place, but we may still be in COVID protocols, which means no crossovers, which means we couldn't do a story as big as Blackest Night. But I could certainly plant the seeds and try to will it into existence, because I want to see it too. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.